Hey everyone, welcome back to the CYPT channel. So recently I've been stuck at home but I still wanted to make some videos. One thing that troubled me for a few months now is how to demonstrate problem 12, Polygon Vortex, with easily accessible equipment. To prepare for this video, I made a magnetic power transmission apparatus. If you've read some published papers about the Polygon Vortex phenomenon, you will realize that you will need a mechanism like this. There is a large container with a rotating plate inside. You will need to find a glass or plexiglass container and drill a hole on the bottom. You also need a rotating plate and some sort of connector to connect the plate to the drive shaft. Here we have the drive shaft and a shaft collar that adapts it to the motor shaft. The engineering challenge is where the drive shaft meets the container. We want to pass the mechanical power in while preventing the water from leaking out. Additionally, lower friction will also be nice. This will require a manufacturing precision that we do not have at home. In this video, I'll show you how you could transmit power by magnetism and how to optimize the apparatus to reduce plate wobble. To make this apparatus, I prepared a glass container, some acrylic paint, and a paintbrush. You can use spray paint, it will probably be more convenient. I got a plastic cup to be my source of plastic sheets. These grooves could help me make precise bends. I'll be using a magnetic stirrer as my source of power. This is the same one that I used in my magnetic levitation video. I have these plastic lids as my rotating plate. These are the lids from my Saxon bowls. I also got a compass and this hot glue gun. The low temperature variant is better since we don't want to risk melting the plastic or demagnetizing the stir bar. First, we'll paint the plastic lid. Before doing so, I lightly sanded the surface with 800 grit sandpaper to improve paint adhesion. You might need to apply multiple coats of paint to achieve the desired consistency. Next, I drew a circle using the compass. It lightly scratched off the acrylic paint, leaving behind a line. I cut out the middle section and trimmed it to the circle. Then I glued on the magnetic stir bar. I applied ample amounts of glue to ensure a solid connection. Don't worry, these stir bars have a PTFE casing. It is more commonly known as Teflon. It will not stick well to the hot glue, so it is easily removable after you finish your experiment. After securing the stir bar, I began preparing the support structure of the plate. Because of the way that these glass containers are made, it is common for the bottom to be convex, or in other words, bulging up. The stir bar will be spinning on a hilltop, thus will not be stable at low angular speeds. We want to make some small feet to reduce the maximum angle the plate could tilt. I cut out thin strips of the grooved plastic cup, then I folded them so that a small surface could be glued to the plate. Next, I trimmed off the excess and folded the feet to the desired height based on the geometry of the container. These feet stabilize the precession of the plate. We also want to account for the shift of the plate. The plate radius has to be made smaller than the radius of the container. To stop the plate from wandering off axes, we can make some small brushes that will push the plate back to the center. I made these with the offcuts from the feet. I made them to have a small curve to match the direction of rotation and cut them to a suitable size. The build is now ready, we can test it out. The plate could spin up to 1800 RPM in air without a problem. The wobble is barely visible. Hope you liked this relatively light intro into this problem. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is the first time that I use Blender in my 3D animations, so if you have any suggestions for how I could improve my Blender 3D model, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.